Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a tracking link. In this tutorial, we will show you step by step how to create your first link. As you can see, I've logged onto my click.org account and I'm currently on the dashboard. This is the page that you will see as soon as you log in to your account. For this demonstration, we will just perform setting up a basic link. And as you can see, no links have yet been created. You can either click here to create one or go to the sidebar on the left where you can click on links and then on new. This will take you to the create new link page. First you need to enter a name for your link. This will only be visible to you and it will help you to identify each of your links. Next enter a destination URL. The destination URL is where the person who clicked on your link will be redirected to. So this may be a website or the landing page of a product that you're promoting. Once you've entered that information, you will need to select a tracking link format. You can either use one of click.org's domains, a premium domain, or your own custom domain. For now, we will just use one of click.org's domains. You will also need to enter a name for your tracking link. By default, all tracking links are added to the uncategorized group. However, if you will be setting up a number of links that belong to the same product or the same campaign that you're working on, it would be useful to add a new category so you can keep all your links together. You can do that by clicking on the Add New button. Enter a group name and click on Create Group. Once you have done that, you'll be able to see the groups that you've created in the drop-down menu. If you would like to hide the actual destination URL from showing up in the browser's address bar, you can check the Enable Link Cloaking checkbox. If you'd also like to stop search engines from following your tracking link, you can check the Hide from Search Engines checkbox. At this point, what we have entered is the most basic information that you need for your link to be set up and active. There are a number of additional options that you can do before you save your link, such as redirections and link expiration. However, we will go into these in further detail in later tutorials. For now, click on the Save Link button. The link code box will appear on your screen. This is where you can click the Copy to Clipboard buttons to copy the link or the HTML code for your tracking link. Once you have copied these, you can insert them into your emails or onto your website. Click on Save Changes and your link is now saved. On the left hand sidebar, if you now click on the Links tab, you will see the link that you have just created.